everybody! Welcome to the Knitted Kitchen Blog Hop. I'm Pia from Stitches and Scraps, and today we're going to be working on pattern number 29, the Trinity Stitch Washcloth. Sometimes Trinity Stitch is also called Raspberry Stitch. So today I'm working with Lion Brand 24-7 Cotton, which they were nice enough to give me for free for the pattern. And I'm using the Grass Colorway, which is this beautiful green. So before we get into the actual knitting, I wanted to look at the chart with you for a minute. You'll see some black squares on here, and this is the first time in this series that I've had these black squares. The black square means no stitch. Okay, so what exactly do I mean by that? How can you do no stitch when there's obviously a stitch below it? Well, here's why. Do you see this stitch here? This is actually a purl three stitches together. So this decrease takes three stitches and makes them into one stitch. This one stitch here is going to use up all three of these stitches, which is why there's no other stitch here or here. So this shape you can start to see now is that decrease. That's why we have some space here. We're going to fill that space by adding stitches here. This stitch is a knit purl knit all in the same stitch. So this one increases to three and this one decreases three into one. So we still end up with four stitches in our pattern repeat over here. All of the pattern stitches on this, all of these increases and decreases are worked on wrong side rows and you know it's the wrong side because the number's on the left. On the right side rows, what we're going to be doing is purling across the middle. We've still got our seed stitch border, but we're going to be purling across the middle. And um, that's about it. It's a very simple, four stitch, four row repeat for the pattern. So here's what I've got so far. This is the right side and you can see some of these little bobbles coming up. I am ready to do a wrong side row with the pattern. So I'm gonna show you that. So I'm, I don't know which repeat exactly I'm on, but let's look at, let's see, which one am I on? I'm going to be doing the decrease first. So let's look at row seven. Okay, because row seven has this decrease and then an increase. So we start with our seed stitch border, which is slip one, knit, oh, I think I split the yarn there, hang on. Let's try that one again. Slip one, knit, purl, and knit. Okay, there's my four stitch seed stitch border and now I'm going to go into my first I do nothing so that when you just literally do nothing skip over to the next square I'm going to do my decrease purl three together so you can see that I'm kind of over the three stitches I made with my increase before and I'm just going to go into all three like a purl and I'm going to purl them all at the same time this can be a little tricky to do, so make sure that you're watching your tension and not making your stitches too tight. There's my purl three together. And now the next stitch after that, see I did nothing, did the purl three together, now do nothing again, and then increase, knit, purl, knit, all in the same stitch. So here I'm going to knit, not take this off the left needle, just knit, then bring the yarn to the front and purl Still, I'm not taking that off the left needle. Now I bring it back to the back and I knit again. So now I have a knit purl knit all into one stitch. So here I've got my decrease, here I've got my increase, and I still have four stitches in this pattern repeat. So I'm gonna continue that across the row. Purl, three together. Okay. And then knit, purl, and knit all into the same stitch. And I take that off the needle. And now again, purl three together. If it's a little tight, when you get to this part, just wiggle it a little bit. That should loosen it up enough for you to complete the stitch. Purl. Okay, so now I'm at the knit. Purl. And knit. I'm going to finish this row and jump ahead. 
Um, after I do this row, I'm going to do another row of the just pearls on the right side. One thing to notice is at the end of my four stitch repeats, which I'm repeating nine times for the nine inch square and 13 times for the 12 inch square. So once I finish with those repeats, I am, I've got one more purl stitch just thrown in there. And the whole reason for that is I needed an odd number of stitches to make the border work out. It's the only reason it's there. You don't need it if you're not doing the seed stitch border. But after I do my nine repeats, I've got this one more purl stitch and then I go into the uh, seed stitch border again. So, um, sorry, knit stitch, not purl because I'm on the wrong side row. So this becomes a knit, so it looks like a purl on the front. So I have one knit stitch after I'm done. And then, um, then my seed stitch border. Okay, so I'm going to finish this row. I'm going to do the back side, the front side row, and then I'll come back to you again. Okay, so I finished the pattern row, and then I worked back on the right side again with all purl stitches to finish the right side row. And now it's time to do the next pattern row. So the next pattern row I'm doing is going to start with increases. How do I know this? Because the first thing I see when I look at my last row is a decrease. See here's a decrease, looks like a little knot, and then here's the increase with the big open stitch that has three stitches coming out of it. So I always am going to alternate and that's a good way to keep track of what row you're on. Um, and by the way, the right side rows are great for counting your stitches too to make sure that you've got the right number of stitches because they're pretty simple, they're just purling. So, okay, so anyway, I am on the wrong side row that starts with an increase. So the wrong side row that starts with an increase is row nine. And so that's the one I'm gonna do. So we will do our seed stitch border. Sorry, it starts with a slip and then knit. Purl. knit and then let's look at our next stitch where we're going to do our increase here so we're going to knit purl sorry purl ah my fingers don't want to work right now okay so knit purl and then knit all in that same stitch i'll do it again so ignore that mess that I just did. Um, anyway, knit, purl, knit in the same stitch and then purl three together in the next three stitches. Because remember, we've got these ones here that say do nothing. So we just skip right over those. Knit, uh, knit, purl, knit in the same stitch and then knit three together. Ignore any of the black boxes. So there we go. And purl those three together. Okay, let's do this again without all the fuss. Knit, okay, there's my knit, there's my purl, and there is another knit. And remember, I wanna make sure I'm keeping these loose because otherwise purling into them later is gonna be tough. So knit, purl, knit all into the same stitch. Turn this around, purl three together. Okay, keep doing that all the way across the row and then that's pretty much it for the pattern. On the right side rows we're purling and on the wrong side rows we're doing alternating between purl three together and knit purl knit. So I hope you enjoy the square and I hope to see you next time for another fun square.